After four and a half years, it's Max Holland's first time in China. He's director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the biggest of its kind in the Americas. And with him, he's brought the Shape of Time, a new exhibition showcased in Shanghai's Museum of Art Pudong. The collection is from Oceania, and is traveling outside the United States for the very first time since it's entered the Met's collection. This has been your first time visiting China, especially after the pandemic. And how do you like your trip so far? I love being back here in Shanghai. It's such a vibrant, powerful city. So for us, it's a wonderful occasion to,、um, on the one hand, celebrate a new collaboration with the Pudong Museum,、uh, being able to share some of the masterpieces of the Met, but really also、uh, reconnecting with our friends here in China. Metropolitan Museum of Art is one of the most prominent art museums in the world. So, talking about this exhibition, it's the Met's debut in Shanghai. And can you tell us more about the cooperation with Chinese museums? It's our Oceanic collection. For the very first time, actually,、uh, leave the museum. It's been、uh, there ever since、uh, Nelson Rockefeller put this collection together.、Um, so, this is a very special、uh, way to. Collaborate with the Potong Museum. We have other great collaborations. So it's very strong ties with other institutions all all across China. The Met is a a universal institution, an institution that's connected not only to so many different cultures through its collections, but really also so connected to many different institutions around the world, and especially with our friends in China. Which work of art is your personal favorite? I have many favorites.、Uh, some、uh, some of them are really special.、Um, One particular object that I like are actually two,、uh, and these are these doorboards that are、uh, in the show, and they kind of show faces of ancestors, and they are, to a certain extent, you know, sometimes they feel sometimes funny, they feel powerful, they feel, feel strong, but they kind of immediately engage you, and you you think back about how these doorboards initially kind of. To, uh, created this threshold between the outside and the inside, and again, I think that's what art is about:、uh, bringing you from the outside inside to a joint knowledge, a joint experience,、uh, shared ancestry. The China-U.S. relationship has faced twists and turns, and what role can art play in bridging those divides, and why this kind of art communication important? I think museums,、uh, in general, but art also,、uh, in even broader sense, is about、uh, communication. It's about dialogue. It's about Cultural bridges that we continue to build, and that are so important in our time. It's obvious that our world goes through a whole set of different challenges and also tensions that build up between different countries, between maybe even different ideas of concepts. But、uh, art, culture, and cultural institutions are here to kind of to create these、uh, dialogues about. What we all share, living together as different cultures, but actually also as one big community. And you have been serving as director since 2018. What's your typical day like? Well, <laughs> a typical day, of course, on the first、uh, starts with an early morning walk、uh, through the empty galleries, which is, of course, a very big privilege. But also a wonderful way to kind of go to your office. We are so involved in so many different areas around the world. There's so so many different issues,、uh, challenges, and opportunities. So it is, of course, an endless succession of not so much only meetings, but really about thinking what the museum can do next. Where where can we seize an opportunity? Where should we react? How we can share our collections with the world? How we can disseminate our knowledge to as many people as possible? Is there any strategic plan to attract more overseas tourists, like especially Chinese? Chinese、uh, visitors were our most important international uh, touristic, uh, so to say, community、uh, before the pandemic. Fourteen、um, percent of our total international visitors were Chinese. It's the biggest community of foreign visitors.、Um, that, of course, changed during the pandemic, and it's only slowly building up again. So I think it's important、uh, not only to, so to say. Wait for our visitors, but also be here, like what we are doing right now here in Shanghai. We want to make sure that people、uh, see the beauty and the, the possibilities of the Metropolitan Museum, uh, uh, and we are looking forward to receiving、um, more and more、uh, visitors from China in the year, months and years to come. What's the important to come to appreciate art face to face, especially in the digital world? The Met was built on the on a strong belief that it is important for us to understand. Not only the cultures of the world, but to understand each other, where we are coming from, what what has been the origins of certain cultures, and and how they. 
connect. I think that's something that you can experience at the Met. You can get lost at the Met. You can get kind of wander from one gallery to the other and you're, you're suddenly in, in this area of the world, suddenly in the other. Uh, all of that is uh, really uh, a beautiful experience that a universal institution, an encyclopedic museum uh, can provide. Um, and it basically also uh, connects us um, as an institution to so many different other places in the world. The Met is its not a New York institution, it's not a United States institution, it is a museum of the world and for the world.